Well, I'm sure you're seeing more signs in the grocery store about limiting the number of things you can buy at one time. If it was toilet paper and paper products for a while, but now they're trying to limit how much meat people can buy. Yes, now the meat shortage has extended into our local restaurants as well. Our Dave Sparity spoke with the owner of JD's Smokehouse in Burke County, who says he is now unable to serve their famous dish. Well, several of the people picking up orders today here at JD's Smokehouse were stunned to learn that one of their favorite menu items is soon going to be gone. This is it, the last slabs of meat at J.D. Smokehouse for the plates of brisket people drive from as far away as Charlotte. The brisket, and, you know, it's going to be missed because it's one of the best around. The restaurant still has barbecue pork and chicken, but meat prices have steadily climbed with COVID outbreaks at meat processing plants nationwide. Here in North Carolina, there are more than 1,600 positive COVID-19 cases at 26 processing plants. So the challenge is kind of the middleman. Um, we have plenty of people that want to eat and we would love to serve them, but acquiring the product has been the biggest problem. Matt Gore says his prices for meat went up from $4.15 a pound to more than $8 a pound over the last several weeks. The famous brisket here makes up 30% of his orders. I guess we're sad that the supplies are so short that they are going to run out, but we're going to go get our brisket, hopefully. Lynn Algier showed up early at the restaurant today to pick up meals for her sister's birthday. The family plans on having a picnic before the brisket is gone. It just seems like things are running out and it just shows how our country is not prepared for all of this. And the owner here doesn't know when he's going to be able to get meat again. Still serving though barbecue pork and chicken while employing about 50 people. Back to you.